never get enough track oh! Oh! We go in mental. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Monday, we're live. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome, Dunk Life Daily. Enjoy your goddamn life more. That's it. I could cut it right there. That's it. That's all you need to know from today and every single day. Welcome to planet Earth. If you're not from here, welcome. It's a pretty cool place. We got gravity. We got uh, oxygen. If you like oxygen, we got plenty of it. We're kind of using it up because of fossil fuels, and I don't understand uh, things like that, but the ozone is deteriorating and it's going to leave holes uv in florida i get burnt if i don't i'm white if i don't put on the sunscreen but you got to go in the water the trick is you got to put lotion on so the skin doesn't burn and you also got to go in the water periodically in the shade because you can't just like burn it out it's just like trying to do like lift up squats like dunk life ready metaphor you're trying to do squats you're trying to lift heavy you can't just do 300 pounds and 320 pounds you got to go gradual you got to gradual you got to like time to rest same thing with the sun you got to go outside you got to get time to rest what's happening don't worry about it Okay, take some energy through your ears, through your visuals. If you're watching, you should watch today's episode because, God damn it, we got a little special announcement. We have a new dunk. I'm going to get to it. But first, I went to the movies last night and I saw some entertainment. I'm an entertainer myself. I enjoy it. So I also love the cinema. Watched Good Boys. I think it was by Seth Rogen, whatever the fuck. He's involved in it. He's involved in the show. So funny. It was little kids. They're innocent. They know what the fuck's going on with girls. And it was hilarious. Had a lot of similar thoughts when I was that age. And also, but I didn't really speculate as much as they did. They fucking tried to like know everything. I was too busy running around. I think that's where you can tell that my mind was crazy. When I was young, you could ask my mother and she would probably comment. All I wanted to do is throw balls and run around. I would, I would go outside, I'd be sweaty as hell, and then I'd come inside and I would eat. That was pretty much my day. And then I'd go to school, ride my bike. As soon as I get off the bus, fucking go play sports for seven hours, run around, sweat, eat, repeat. Sweat, eat, repeat. That's going to be my fucking motto on my shirt. Speaking of shirts, I'm making new Dunk Life gear. I can't wait. But it's going to be only the highest quality. I want to make fucking sick shirts where you fucking look sick and you fucking feel good so you fucking dunk well. I dunked well yesterday. New fucking update. I was dumping off one a lot and I tweaked my knee. So... I don't know if I'm going to upload the vlog yet because it's very short, um, but I'm going to update it when I do it. But I, I made a lot of progress off the dribble. I can see myself dunking two hands with one foot, even like windmilling off one foot. One foot is so fun, but my technique is shit. Um, and I also did way better off the dribble off two. I had I, I focused on when I, I finally did what I wanted to do, which was focus on off the dribble. And it felt good. And I almost got a two hand tomahawk. If you watch my YouTube stories, which I don't know if people do, but it's fucking fun to do because like nobody really sees it. So it's like a sneak peek. And, um, I just can't wait to, I'm going to get nice off the dribble. Finally. It's not like finally, like it's the end all be all. I keep saying that, but I keep learning little things and I have to unlearn past bad behaviors of my footwork and technique and all those things and mental blocks and all these things. So it's hard. It takes a long time to unlearn things and relearn things. So it's good when you're starting out. That's why I emphasize like building a strong foundation. Cause if you build it from the beginning, it's good. What's going on? Episode 40, bro. We in that 4040 club. We, you can only listen to this episode if you have a higher vertical than 40 inches. I'm just kidding. But if you do want a higher vertical than inches, work with me. I got custom training. It's a little expensive, but you get me personally. I'm a one-man show. You want me? You want my energy? I'm actually going to make another custom type of training that's just for fucking life. Like if you just want a consultation of like, how do I improve my life? I got you. I am a certified life coach, and that's not a joke. I usually joke that I'm a fucking nutritionist, doctor, paramedic, fucking astronaut. I'm also a scuba dive instructor uh, when in season, you know? I'm just kidding. That's it. I'm fucking losing my skull and I'm having a great day already. I hope you are too. It's been a great Monday. I woke up before the goddamn sun because my mind was racing. I finished the book Shoe Dog. Highly recommend memoirs of the guy Nike that created Nike, Phil Knight. Amazing story. It was great to read right before bed because he was such a good storyteller that it's just kind of, uh, I felt like I was in his world. He, he's a great writer. And now I'm reading Man's Search for Meaning. Um, which I'm really excited to. It's a Holocaust survivor and talks about how to find meaning in life. Instead of searching for me- meaning, like you go look for it, you there is meaning already, something like that. That's just the beginning of it. I'm excited about that too. So I'm going to do a fucking book club too. Talk about entertainment, movies, uh, films, uh, enjoyment, all of it. Monday motivation, mental mush me. Mush me. And uh, that's it. I think, here we go, Connor's Barth. Connor's Barth. <laughs> Connor's dunk was sick. Isaiah threw it. Um, tip, he's probably sitting on the floor when he threw the ball because he were doing a million tries. When you see a new dunk and then it's, you see the one that they make, know that there's probably 14,000 tries before that. Um, and uh, yes. Anyway, so Isaiah throws it. Uh, Connor jumps, 
catch if you're watching the video podcast you already see it you already saw the dunk because i'm putting it right here because i'm so tech savvy dude that it's right here and you can watch it so check out my youtube subscribe support fucking 30k though what um famous people don't even have like big podcasts which is okay we'll get back to it another time he catches it between his legs and does a reverse pump and it's sick my favorite part about it is that he like pauses like just imagine i can't even do that dunk off a lob when it's like in the perfect spot and i like pump my arms and that pump gives me an extra boost because of your center of mass which i'll do another video on but like he's waiting for it he has to catch it and as soon as he catches it zoom and he dunks it clean so nice dude so hype wish i was there i'm proud of you dude i think we should call it the lookout below because you're like oh look what i found oh look out what this coming out of my balls or whatever but also i was thinking the geronimo because it's a cooler name but it also means look out below because you say that when you're jumping off a cliff like you said like, oh look out below or you say geronimo so i think that's my names so if you see that name being used just know yeah boy came up with it i'm the master of ideas that's my strength don't take it the wrong way if i come up with a better name than you if i come up with your nickname if i fucking come up with all the best words phrases fucking everything you say in your life everything you think is from me that's my strength look at me i can't even stop talking i'm not even talking to anyone right so that's my strength don't get down on yourself you got your other strengths like maybe you can make lists i can't do that maybe you can fucking do like one thing at a time you know and finish it instead of 96 things that are 10% done. So we have our strengths. Today in history, baby, August 19th, 43 BC, Octavian, later known as Augustus, compels the Roman Senate to elect him consul. Woo, what a day. <laughs> what a day that must have been. Yo, I just realized what happens next year, because I'm just reading like these are just like generic things. Next year is going to be the same thing because it's the same date. Thinking long term, I'm going to have to figure something out. I'm going to have to figure something out to do next year. All right, today in film, 1950, ABC begins Saturday morning kid shows, Animal Clinic and Acrobat Ranch. Acrobat Ranch sounds like something I can get into, where it's just like all day long you work on acrobats and your body. Oh, watch the video on YouTube, gym, how gymnasts work out. They were doing the weirdest shit. They all have like a perfect body, so I might start adding that to my workouts. What? My body feels amazing, by the way. It's like 175 pounds, <laughs> American, and um, meat, full meat, and I'm just feeling super lean, even though I'm like... Uh, a little heavier, not heavier, but I usually feel this lean when I'm lighter, but I'm, I'm feeling great, dude. I'm learning so much about my body today in sport, 1909, Indianapolis, 500 racetrack opens fucking sick, dude. Today in music to the 2008, the fame debut album by Lady Gaga's released sick, bro. Okay. Sick. Thank you. Sick. All right. Last video dunk lifers of the day. Congrats says Ahmed Berry, Christopher Alston. Congrats on 3000. What's up, bro? Panda craft. 30k yo thank you so much you deserve 40k soon let's go we're gonna blow up like i said by my birthday december we're hitting 50k that means quality that means fucking consistency that means good videos that means the same thing i just said that means entertainment that means let's blow up that means the viral algorithms that means i need you guys that i need you let's go support your boy the better you support me the more fucking energy i get you want to go or you want to not go <laughs> you want to sit or do you want to go Fucking, we can sit and go. That's called a train or a car or anything where you sit. Actually, every transportation you sit. What transportation do you not sit? Let's make that walking, running, fucking skipping, jogging, jumping, dunking. Let's go. Have a good fucking Monday. It's not even 10 minutes, but it's fucking fire, bro. This is a fucking, what do you call it? Espresso flames, baby. Speaking of espresso flames, give me some goddamn coffee sponsors on this shit so I can fucking make money, dude. Sound like Dalia, you know? I'm a huge fan of comedians. I'm a huge fan of entertainment. Have a great day. Entertain your fucking mind. After you leave this podcast, take out your headphones, stop watching this. The next person you see, be like, your energy is amazing today. And watch them just light up. Be like, what? What am I doing? How, how's my, okay. And then next thing you know, they're fucking doing the same thing. They're like, I feel so good. I'm like that guy said my energy was so fucking good. And next thing you know, I fucking, he goes to work and he's like, yo, my energy is like fucking good, isn't it? But he's not saying that. He's just he's like expressing it. And then people at work are like, man, you're so happy today. He's like, I know. It's just like one of those days i think i just woke up fucking feeling it and then they're feeling it because it spreads it spread the energy spread the love fucking everybody's got psychosis and we're gonna live in it we're gonna live in our bubble because the more you believe it the more good things happen because the energy but like there could be science behind it but it could just be psychosis either way i want it to work and either way i'm putting it into use let's go goddamn that was fire Whew. I'm, i gotta get out of here because i'm gonna go talk forever sub 10 minutes and i'm killing it toodaloo that's young life Oh, that's the anthem right there. Try
to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.